Now, this time we are going to solve this question. Question number 1.13. In this question, it is given to you. Suppose the sphere A and B that is already be solved in this question. Clear? Have identical sizes. Let's suppose we have two sphere and both our sphere are having identical sizes. This is given to you. A third sphere of the same size but uncharged has brought in a contact with the first, then brought in contact with second. Okay. Finally, removed from both of them. What is new force of repulsion between A and B? Clear? So, let us try to understand what is situation. Clear? Listen carefully. Let's suppose initially, let's suppose I am saying initially we have this is A, let's suppose this is B, clear? This is B and both are having charge Q, clear? Both are having charge Q and it is given value of charge Q, value of charge Q, this is given to you, uh, yes, value of charge Q is given 6.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb, clear? This is given, clear? So, I am writing here value of Q. 6.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb clear now now what happened now let's suppose we are bringing an another sphere having uncharged but having same size clear let's suppose here we have this sphere number c and this is uncharged now in this question it is given a third sphere first brought in contact with the first clear so let's suppose it comes into contact with this a clear so, when both sphere are having identical size, then we can say after touching their charge is equally distributed on each sphere, clear? So, we can see whenever we are talking about A and C, if I draw like this, let's suppose this is A, clear? Let's suppose now it comes into contact with the C, clear? So, it is having Q, this is 0, finally it becomes like this, we have A having charge Q by 2, clear and half of the charge it transferred to C like this yes or no now it is given in the question then it brought in contact with second means now here we have B and B is having charge Q now this C comes into contact with B clear and it is given here the charge is Q by 2 now again charges is equally distributed on both spheres so we can write like this uh, now we have B, this is C, clear? Now we can say average charge we will take Q plus Q by 2, here we have 2, so Q plus Q by 2, this is 3Q by 2 divided by 2, so we can say here we have charge 3Q by 4 and this is also 3Q by 4, clear? So this is a charge. Now question is asking to you, finally removed from both of what is new force of repulsion between A and B? Now you can see in A we have force this is Q by 2 and B we have uh, actually we have charge at A Q by 2 and at B we have 3 Q by 4. So now we have to find new force of repulsion clear. So now we can write like this. Listen carefully we can write like this uh, new force of repulsion K Q Q is given this is q by 2 and this is 3 q by 4 and divided by uh, we can see r square clear so r r is given 50 centimeter clear so uh, 50 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square clear to you so now from here you can see all the situation is same as previous question but charge distribution is different clear so we can write like this uh, k we can write like this k q square divide by uh, this is 50 centimeter yes or no so we can say actually we can write like this this is r square if we write in terms of variable we can write like this clear this is r square clear so k q square divide by r square and multiplied with we can say 3 multiplied with 8 so 3 by 8 now k q square upon r square this is force of repulsion that we find between a and b initially clear so we know if we utilize that force then we know that that value 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton this value we utilize from previous question clear so we can write like this 4.5 divided by 8 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton clear so from here we can see uh, this is 0. Uh, 
5 clear we have 5 left so 0 0.56 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton clear so this is what we can say this is new force of repulsion between a and b clear to everyone yes or no so this is correct answer